Hello everyone. Today I am going to talk about the multi-select drop-down. So this drop-down is created with the help of variables, modes and collections. We can use this multi-select in a single page or more than a single page with the use of variable collections. Here I have an example which is already created. We'll see this how it is working and what all the features are available with this multi-select drop-down. So here I have a uh, label which is uh, you can see the title and the next once we click on this we'll get this drop-down where each option is having the checkbox. So now any of the checkbox is not selected so I'm going to select one of the option and it is appearing on the head so the next is English and once we click on the biology which is getting auto layout working here so the same way I will select all those options which is available in this drop down list now you can see this height is getting increased uh, because I have used here the auto layout and once I click on deselect any of the option it will get decrease so let's see how it is created and how we can use this multi select drop down option so here i have a multi select and here is the local variable which i have used here to create this multi select so this is mainly for the select subject which we can change and we can update it and then we have the subjects here which is like a options so once I explore this and here we have the drop down list so how we can see our entries just we have to go to the drop down list which is here it is shown as a false so which we have to make it true so once we have click on this it is getting true or false so same thing is implemented in interaction so I will make it true and then I will select this and here is the clip content once I uncheck this we'll see the all those options are available here and now if I go to the prototype you can see this all interaction is given once I click on this so check false and all those interactions are taking from here so suppose if I want to add one more option here just I have to copy this and paste now this is the new option which is here I can say option 9 if you want to rename it you can rename this and we have to go to the local variable here it is still option 8 just duplicate this variable and we can say adv english just a short form i have used here and this is option 9 now the next once we have added this option 9 and here we have the checked option so it is still 8 we'll duplicate this variable and here we'll say the check 9 which is false and selection option which is, which is still 8 and again we'll duplicate this and we'll make this as a 9 so these three elements we have to create whenever we want to add more options so now I'm going to close this and here is the option and now once we open this here we'll get this checkbox and in this checkbox which is the checked one the variable is attached so now I'm going to attach this instead of 8 
9 so this variable is attached here and then we come to this text and here I can change the 8 to 9 so this is now done now the interaction is given here so once we click on this we can see the interaction so we see there and here check date so instead of check date I am selecting check 9 again same check date check 9 and select option is fine now again in else part instead of 8 select 9 and here also instead of 8 select 9 and select option 1 so instead of option 1 we have to select 9 and this option 8 instead 9 and here also instead of 1 we have to select 9 now it is fine so this is done now we have to look at the header part so here we have select option 7 so I am going to copy this and just paste so this option you can see here it is checked 8 so instead of 8 we have to give 9 and this text instead of 8 I have to select 9 now we'll see how it is working so we'll select this we'll come to the local variable and before that we will just click content and this will hide drop down list and now we can preview So here advancing list it is working fine so it is a little uh, need to be remember the steps but it is very easy to implement and whenever we have the lot of options we can add here uh, just adding the sum of the points we have to keep in mind which is the option we are going to add we need to enter first and then we have to true false and we can see the entries like this so this is for the drop down so we have to select the drop down ones so this is the drop down list once we make it true it will be visible and if we are getting entry here so just select this do the clip content and the new we can just copy and paste it will be added just below this because here is um, auto layout is used as a frame so now the next is I'm going to hide this again so first we'll do the click content and then false it is fine so next how we can use the multiple drop down or a multiple multi select so this top and this multi select drop down just i am copying this using the alt and i have duplicated this now the next i have duplicated this one and this is the part of the second drop down and this so just i am making it down so arrange properly now select this 
and come to the collection here change variable mode so here we'll see the drop down list 2 i have changed this drop down list 2 is visible now so there is nothing we need to create again just we have to go to the local variable and add one more option drop down list and here i'm adding the drop down list 2 so it will be a 3 and suppose if you want to enter the some new data like um, here i'm adding something like uh, select uh, car and some entries which is accordingly if we want like um, i'm typing some So these all entries will be reflect as for the options and here and then here I'm going to enter Honda and here Volvo and the last one I'm going to add and so now this is the new list which is the drop down list 3 and I'm going to copy this just using the alt and this is the selected one so this is the list and here we have the variable mode so change this variable mode you will see the drop down list is came here and it it is reflected now why it is getting open here local variable it is showing here mm -hmm. true so we can make it false so it will get hidden now we'll preview this how it is working so i have given the new entry select card so here we have the options of car Hyundai, Toyota, Honda, Maruti, Mahindra, Tata. So all are get selected and it is in implemented here, reflected here. And whenever I'm getting deselect, it is working fine. So same way here, uh, the cricket team, we have the Sri Lanka, New Zealand, India, and then we have South Africa so it is all get selected and we can close this so the different cricket team and if we want to deselect we can deselect again and it is working fine and again if we come to this subjects so we can select and it is working fine so this is the easiest way to create the multi-select and uh, each and every interaction is given and just if we want to uh, use this uh, you can add here subject title and the options you can update it here as per your use like uh, option one two three four and then uh, this no need to uh, look at this false and true just if you want to enter it so like uh, here I'm taking example of first one so drop down list first here we have the option for drop down list you can make it true and once it is visible 
you can do the clip content and see the all those options and if you want to add more option you can select this copy and paste so this option will be selected yeah somehow here we have the options for uh, this option uh, like um, option one physics and till the last one option nine and here it is getting uh, reflected so you can hide it uh, from the drop down and even this also you can hide it if it is getting uh, like a duplicate so for that also you can uh, use clip content and you can make this frame uh, uh, like uh, hidden till there the last data you can remove this so i'm doing this clip content and here is the local variable which we can make it true and false so how is the trick and uh, please write uh, your comment and this uh, is available with this uh, figma community i will add uh, the link in a description so you can use this um, easily and uh, yeah please share your comment so i can understand uh, whether it is uh, easy or the like a typical way to create thank you thank you very much